Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and in this episode we're going to be discussing two new features introduced in version 3.6 of Dark Table. The first one is the ability to create a opacity mask based on the sharpness of the image and the second one is the quick access panel. The quick access panel replaces the old basic adjustments module that we had up till version 3.4. It can be accessed by clicking on the first tab and it allows you to access widgets from a number of processing modules in one place. You can manage the visible widgets by right clicking on this icon and the top ones are the ones that are currently visible you can click on them to remove them or you can add ones from here let's add the temperature you can see it here automatically appearing and if we go to all available modules I'm going to do graduated density and mm, let's put a density one you can see it here we remove it in the same way this provides a quick and easy access to all of the basic adjustments that you can do on your image it's great if you're just starting with dark table or if you wanted to do a quick edit on some photo just for a proof or for time constraints or what have you. The widgets are self-explanatory more or less. They're a small part of what the module associated with those widgets can do, but that's the whole point. For instance, local contrast, you only get to enable it and disable it and that's it. You don't see any of the settings that we could use in the module, but here you go. Others have a little bit more control. Color balance, for instance, you can change multiple settings. Vibrance, chroma, saturation, contrast. Color calibration does not allow you to change anything. Exposure. works exactly like in the exposure module and so on and so forth you can just explore all of the available widgets and just choose what you need for your image as I've already said it's a really basic aspect of dark table but it's great if you just want a quick edit of an image or if you're just starting and you only want to use the basic uh, capabilities of Darktable. If you need to actually process lots of images for proofing or to choose from them, then this is quite helpful. Just a few clicks and you have a basic idea of what the image would look like. Alright, that's it for the quick access panel. Let's move on. The second feature we're going to discuss today is the ability to create an opacity mask based on the sharpness of the image. It says sharp sharpness, but I found that it's a little bit maybe misleading. It's, a, it's about the details and if you can see here it's the details threshold and if we display the mask See now it's all selected. If you need a refresher on how to use masks, refer to our previous video on the subject. Now if you pull this to the right, it's going to select the areas of the image with more detail. And to the left, it's the opposite. And it selects parts of the image with less details. This can be handy in lots of applications if you just want to increase the sharpness say of the details and leave the rest 
or introduce some blur in the areas with less detail or even if you want to add local contrast uh, whatever it's a nice addition to the masks section allows us to refine the mask just by detail that's it for today's episode if you have any questions remarks or corrections please leave them in the comments below and i'll see you next time bye bye